Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and another bus sim video. So this is continuing my series of short videos for bus sim, ready for the release of the console version in the next couple of months. I'm just showing you very quickly how to do things, hints and tips, rather than my long bus sim video. So if you are interested in the console release coming in the next couple of months, feel free to subscribe. There'll be a playlist just popping up top right of your screen with all my videos in there. Uh, but let's get on with today's video. So in this video we're going to carry on where we left off in the last video. In the last video we learned how to employ someone, how to buy a bus and how to set up a route. In this video we're going to go through the conditions and the settings for that trip. So the first one is the driving conditions, quite self-explanatory. Um, you've got quite a few options. These aren't dynamic, you set these at the start of your trip. So you can just do normal daytime, you can do normal nighttime, you can do rainy day. Now actually rainy day is almost um, a real overcast, real overcast evening. So it's not really during the day, it actually looks like nighttime and you do need your lights on. Uh, the next one is dawn and the next one is sunny and raining. So the next one is the drive start settings. Now what this means is, is that when you um, actually start in the bus station, you start outside your bus in third person mode and you have to walk, open the door, get into the bus, sit down and press the ignition, um, sort the doors out, sort the parking brake out. With it on, you just start in there, the engine's already running and you can pull off. So if you like a little bit of simulator um, in your driving vehicles, then leave this off. So the next one is regarding the route. If you have this on, then you drive the selected route in the reverse bus stop order, quite self-explanatory. Next one is loop. If you have this on, then you will just pretty much drive continuously around your route. So with no stop start, you can go back to the bus station, but you can just drive until your heart's content, earning as much money as you wish. So with round trip off, you go from A to B. With round trip on, you go A to B and then back to A. Free roam is self-explanatory. If you put this on, you can literally, you'll start at your um, first bus stop and you can drive where you want and do what you want within the map. With the early event enabled, what that will mean is that you're, you're set to a time. So by the time you pull in, you let your customers in, let your customers out, do all the tickets and you have to pull away and get to your next station on time. It just puts a little bit more pressure on your route. Next one is enable cashier. Now I always have this on, and to be honest with you, I recommend having it on. Uh, and the cashier mode is, you've seen in my videos, where the screen uh, rotates to the actual cashier machine. The customer comes in, he tells you, or her, he tells you how many tickets they want, um, whether it's regular, senior, student, um, and you give the change. That to me is part of this game. I don't see any reason why you would switch that off. Uh, and maybe unless you was grinding the levels out and you didn't want to do that bit, but me personally, I will always have this on. Next is the driving model. Now me personally, I have it on simplified. A couple of reasons for that. It does the automatic gears, which I think is quite relaxing and actually quite realistic, I'm sure. In a lot of these brand new buses, you're gonna have automatic gears. And it also does the speed limiter. Can you imagine me without a speed limiter? Um, I'll be forever getting tickets. I find it just relaxing as well. I'm not necessarily playing this game for the simulator aspect of it. Um, I'm playing this game because it's relaxing, it's a nice environment, it's fun to do. So me personally, I have it on simplified but if you have it off um, all helpers are deactivated you need to shift manually and you'll need to watch your top speed so that is it everyone thank you for watching just another quick video going to be doing lots of these as i said in the last video um, not ordinarily all my bus sim videos are 30 minutes each but with the release coming up on the console for the xbox and the playstation 4 i want to put together quite a few hints and tips and helpful videos in a nice short format so that is it everyone have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next one